Okay, welcome to another session of IC Layout Design. Today we are going to look at the full custom IC Layout. Okay, full custom IC Layout. Now, the, we're going to refer to this article, What is Full Custom Layout Design by Dan Klein. The, it's a 2001 article, but it's still very the, relevant to the work that we are doing. Okay, in the industry, full custom design continues to be used. Uh, especially in analog layout and uh, cell design. Now we'll look at this shortly in greater detail. Okay, this is the website the, from E Times. As I said, this is a 2001 article. Now, what is full custom layout design? The, well, first of all, in the design process, you it is divided into the front end and the back end processes. In the front end process is basically the design and simulation, the circuit design and simulation, and the back end is the IC layout. The And in the layout, there are basically two styles. One is called the ASIC style flow. And the other is called the full custom, full custom flow. Okay. So two styles, ASIC style flow and full custom flow. Today we are only interested in the full custom flow. The, we will be looking at the A6 style flow the, in a couple of lessons from now. But uh, to start off, we will uh, be using full custom layout. So what is full custom layout? Basically, full custom layout means polygon level layout. They're done entirely with a the simple polygon pusher software. Now, the basic what it means is that uh, if you're doing polygon pushing, that means it's a lot of manual layout. So, uh, in full custom, uh, you can ident identify with uh, manual 100% manual layout. The there are four distinct flavors or four instances when you would want to use full custom layout. The, here, they talk about data path layout. Another one is analog layout. Then you have a custom digital layout. And finally, you have cell layout. In our course, we'll be doing the custom layout for in two instances, analog layout and cell layout. The, all right, and uh, for this term, we will be just looking at cell layout. And so what is uh, this full custom layout for cell development is basically uh, drawing the polygons for, for cells so that you define the logic building blocks. Uh, sorry about that. Let me refresh the screen. Okay. So use it for cell development. Oops. I don't know why. sometimes happen okay. 
or cell development. Then uh, they are these cells are logical building blocks that are part of family c components. Uh, they share certain rules and characteristics, okay, such as abutment rules, performance characteristics, or functionality. All right, so the and these cells would then form a standard cell library. All right. Now we'll we'll go through these concepts of uh, cell development, standard cell library. So don't don't worry too much about these terms right now. Okay. The let's look into the cell layout in greater detail okay what is uh, full custom cell layout right so this basically have there are rules to drawing the layout of these cells and some of these rules are known as abutment rules okay how the cells connect there are certain performance characteristics the, and certain functionality. For example, there could be a family of inverters of different sizes of different uh, that does different performances. Okay, then uh, these cells are normally built once and then they are tested and once proven working they are put into what we call a cell library okay and uh, this we'll see that the by using cell library in a we can the shorten the layout time in the meantime uh, we're going to build cells for this standard cell library using the full custom methodology. Okay, so the, if you're doing this kind of full custom cell layout, then you must take into account the following. The intern connect layers that are going to be used. The abutment rules. Okay. This will also you also need to con take into account your power routing, your substrate and cell connections. All right, besides your signal connections, then there is the it must be compatible with your intended design flow. So the kind of tools you use, like if you are using a place, you're going to use a place and route. This cell that you're designing is going to be used in a place and, and uh, route the tool. Then the, your, your, what do you call, your pins of the sender cells have to have a common pitch for fast and easy connection. Alright, so the, we built the cells. In summary, we built these cells using full custom layout so that they can be used in a st standard cell library. Okay, to... So that's that's it for the time being uh, regarding full custom layout. Then uh, for this term, we are going to look at only cell layout. In the, and in the following term, we will look at a full custom layout for analog design. Okay, bye.